In this video, I'm going to be going over the Job Manager, WP Job Manager Packages plugin, uh, and we'll go ahead and get started right here from the start. Once you install the plugin and you activate it, you're going to be prompted by the packages set up initially. Um, as you can see here, I would strongly recommend reading everything on here and clicking to go through the page setup. The first step is going to be setting up the job pages. Um, I do recommend setting all of these up. It's completely up to you. All it does is basically creates a page and puts this short code inside of it. If you forget what the short codes are and you want to set these up yourself later, uh, just go to the job listings settings and then click on the visibility tab and you'll be able to find those short codes, or I'm sorry, the pages tab and you'll be able to find those uh, later as well. I'm going to go ahead and skip this step because I've already set these up, but you should go ahead and click create selected pages. There have been reports of other users having issues with the job pages not setting up correctly. If that happens to you, um, just go ahead and go create the page manually. You should have all these pages set up. I strongly recommend having them because when you start configuring and changing options, if you don't have these pages set up, you might have an issue. Um, the resume ones is not an issue, and this is uh, something I'm working with the person who reported the issue on the job pages to get that fixed. So I'm going to skip this step too, and just to go ahead and go through. And the next one you're going to see is for setting up example packages. And you don't have to do these, but I recommend doing it just to get an understanding of how it works. I'm going to go ahead and skip this setup as well. And then once you're done, it gives you an idea of the flow process, a few key points. So make sure you read all of this, this information right now. Um, go through all of this, get an understanding of it. The one main thing that I want to point out as well is since this is using WooCommerce, the one thing that you need to make sure is that when you set up WooCommerce, you have to make sure that your pages are set for WooCommerce. If they're not, you're going to get a white screen that's going to blank out your site and you're going to be wondering why. And so just make sure that you have these pages set. And the next release of the plugin, I'm going to add a notice if these aren't set to make sure that you set them. But just make sure you have your cart page and your checkout page set. And so let's go ahead and go over to the job listings. Let's go ahead and look at those ones real quick. And you'll see over here, we now have a tab job visibility. So on near here, you can change all the configuration for the job visibilities. And I'm going to actually point out real quick the pages as well. Um, so if you click on the pages tab, you'll notice here are the pages for setting the job visibility pages. Make sure that you have set these as well. If they're not set, please make sure that they are set. Same with resumes. If you go to the resumes one um, under pages, make sure you have the resume pages set as well. So let's go ahead and go back over to the job visibility. And as you can see here, you can configure different options. If you want to require users to purchase a package to view a job, if you want them to require a package to browse the job, to apply to the job. Um, you can even use a redirect instead of showing the placeholder, as long as as well as the table that will actually show on the My Account page, um, and a few other things. 